The New Chu, also known as the Utes, are the indigenous people of the Great Basin in the United States. These 12 bands had nomadic lifestyles that covered a significant portion of the west central United States, an area that covered present-day Utah and Colorado, as well as hunting grounds that extended into Wyoming, Oklahoma, Arizona, New Mexico. But one of the most sacred locations to the New Chu was the Mount Tabakov, meaning Sun Mountain. This peak was the first to be touched by the dawn and considered one of the places where the Creator placed the New Chu ancestors. Special ceremonies and celebrations were held in spring and summer on the peak and in the valley since time immemorial, and it included music, dancing, competitions, and of course courtship. Now, in the mid-1800s, this was all about to change. In 1850, the California gold rush had started to fade. Most of the discouraged gold seekers returned home. However, a few were determined to find gold in other places. In July of 1858, prospectors Green Russell and Sam Bates found a small deposit of gold approximately 20 ounces near the mouth of the Little Dry Creek. Many Americans once again packed up their belongings to hopefully strike it rich, and this time their destination was the valley underneath the mountain Tavakov, known by Europeans by this time as Pikes Peak. It was now home to the Pikes Peak Gold Rush. A town was founded in the region to provide supplies, alcohol, and other things to the miners, and it was called Denver City. Now, other towns in the region sprung up. In addition to Denver City, there was Golden City and Boulder City. In 1861, President James Buchanan signed an act of Congress which formed a brand new state that was named Colorado. More people came to this new state, and in 1875, more gold was discovered, this time near the San Miguel River. In 1878, the town Columbia was founded to support this new strike, but to avoid confusion with the town Columbia, California, the post office decided to change the name. The new name came from the chemical element tellurium, specifically the ore compounds it creates called tellurides. The surrounding mountains of the town Telluride not only had gold, but copper, silver, lead, and zinc. So, in addition to gold, all of these other minerals were mined. Now, the new Chu, sadly, were completely driven out of the area by 1876, and a new summer ceremony replaced the sacred ceremonies of the new Chu. Every July 4th, miners came down from the mountains to celebrate Independence Day with dancing, music, and courtship. The local fire department started a tradition of a fireworks display, and by the 1900s, the celebration included brass bands, horse-drawn floats, as well as drilling and ore competitions, tug-of-wars, pie-eating contests, and many other events. And that happened for decades until the 1960s. See, the people of the valley under Pikes Peak once again started to change. Long-haired hippies were becoming a part of the Colorado scene. Now, this was partly due to the Jack Kerouac novel On the Road, where Sal Paradise, who is based on the author, Jack Kerouac, was traveling through the streets of Denver, eventually buys some marijuana. Now, Colorado had lax laws regarding illegal substances such as LSD and marijuana, so it was a great place for a hippie. Now, by the 1970s, the main industry of mining was being replaced by the tourism industry. Telluride Ski Resort brought a young transient population, and it was very different from the miners and their families that had lived there since the 1800s. In 1971, the 4th of July celebration was the biggest ever. The small town of Telluride of a thousand people attracted an estimated 5,000 over the weekend. With more people came more problems. It included garbage and damage to property. And in 1972, the Telluride Ski Resort started its operations, which brought even more people. The 1972 weekend brought a crowd simply too large for the police to control. There were injuries. Bike gangs arrived in Telluride on the weekend to sell narcotics and party. The town officially canceled the July 4th weekend for 1973. They were fed up. In part two, unfortunately, we ran out of time here, you're going to learn what was to become of the summers in Telluride.